So, Toyota Aris Hybrid 2016, simple message. Battery maintenance parts required. You have to start by removing the sofa. It's just easy, nicely putting the hands up and then pulling the sofa out. I'm just gonna do this quicker because I've done this already so far. Now, there's a few plugs in here which you have to remove before and one located here, the other located here. Then to remove the plastic and click it like that. Right, just because we want to go slightly deeper than the other people, we have to go. Yeah, on clicking this one, on clicking that one. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, that's the general filter, which you have to just basically remove it. And then just in here, there will be fluff. Just because actually in my car, I cleaned that already, and it's turned out there is uh, more of the dirt inside which is just located in that tiny little engine and then fun we have to actually clean the whole fan so i will try to get closer to that fan to nicely uh, remove it yeah so what we want to do basically loosen that screw and then try to pull this out Boom, 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 boom. It's quite handy to have flexi. Uh, key, which I turn out to have somewhere here. Yeah, there you are, this one. And I believe it's gonna be one of those. So let's take a drill and let's go for it. So, what do you really want? I believe so. It's number. Boom, boom, boom. Six, seven, nine, or ten. Oh, it's gonna be ten. Yeah, number ten. Love, good guess. So that's very forward, straightforward in here. Obviously, we don't recommend to use that with the impact drill, but that's just low torque, I believe. So. Okay, it's turned out to be higher torque. So let's find out. Yeah, one of them is done. That's nice bush in here. And let's see, is that gonna pull out nicely from here? Oh, I have to struggle and fight with the rest of it. Uh, yeah. There's a small little notch in here. Have to disconnect. So, what could be issue? I might need to really go to that screw. So, let's try go one more time and see would that work with this one. Not really. Not really. Okay. Oh, simple reason. That's too shallow. Let's go for ordinary ten. Ordinary ten. Yep. Just a twist. Yeah. Oh, that's really tight. We will see how difficult Toyota make it to. Let's try to do the same over there. Doesn't go that way, neither this way. Right. Let's try to remove this pin hour first. Yeah, we got it out nicely. We have to just wiggle this out. Oh, there you are. So thank you, Toyota. Actually, you didn't have to remove that whole bracket. Mm. 
yeah so this one and at some point that I have to go out too do, 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 do. so we got this nearly out oh I know what could go wrong because the plastic became back Screwdriver will help. Flathead. Nice. Yeah, flathead. Actually, for two reasons. To remove this one. Yeah. yeah nice, good. And then. Sleep back again. Yeah, get it. Yeah, hello. So, how does it look like? Pretty, pretty gross. You can see yourself how much of the fluff we have in here. What about the ducting? Ducting itself, it's not as bad as it thinks. Yeah, in my opinion, Toyota messed it up quite a bit because what's turned out in here. I will show you quickly. So the ventilator sucks the air and push it through the battery and then go back in here, in here. Now, oh, I'm bleeding, amazing. Um, turn out, it does the exhaust. And if you're gonna have a look, it's actually going nowhere. It's going just nicely here under the seat. And to be honest, I can't see any ventilation port whatsoever apart of going in here to the seat. <laughs> So basically what you have, it's battery cooking itself. Yeah, so Toyota one, I'm zero, so I'm bleeding. Let's just make sure I'm not gonna bleed too much. Yeah, let's clean that. Now, going back to my engine, let's take that to the kind of workbench, take a brush and then just brush it. Oh, maybe no, actually take it outside. So it's gonna be nice and then easy for us to blow this dust away. Oh. <coughs> Don't do this in the garage. You can see how, how much actually of the shit is coming out. Yeah. So my car is at the moment on the hundred, no, ninety-two thousand miles, and that's my maybe fourth overall cleaning of the small filter, but that's my first time ever I removed the engine and then kind of fun. So I guess so at some point around 100,000 mark, you really want to do the same. <laughs> 